All right, cool. Introduce yourself. I'm Fernando. I uh, do vocals or a version of vocals. Some people call it singing, screaming. I don't know what it is. I holler a lot. And the band 1876. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you guys from? Uh, Flint, Michigan. Right. Right. On. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, that's got like a little bit of representation from a lot of different areas, mm -hmm. but uh, you know we're doing our own version of what we gather from the community there and trying to take it out towards the world. So. Yeah. Right on. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you guys sound like? Um, well, I've heard we sound a little bit like punk, like metal. I don't really get any of that out of it. I just get, I, for a while I was saying thrash, but in a couple of reviews, people were actually saying they bring a trash sound to it. I saw that online. So I don't know if it's a compliment, but I'll go with it. You know, I'll be, I'll, I'll be the trash band of Flynn. I can do that. I can handle that. That's actually quite perfect. <laughs> we play trash metal. <laughs> Pretty down with that. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. So, um. You guys uh, released an album recently. Uh, what's what's the name of it? Uh, 1876 presents Mother Tongue. Mother Tongue. Mother okay. Tongue. Yeah, and uh, the idea of it behind it is this: uh, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of language you speak or what kind of like uh, different emotions you're feeling. It's 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 always universal. It's just different ways of expressing it. You know, so uh, that's kind of where we get the idea of Mother Tongue with it. You know, so um, a lot of the topics on there. Uh, it's a five song EP. Uh, a lot of the songs deal with just a. Uh, Trying to discover yourself while at the same time uh, dealing with the pressures from society that try to mold you into a certain way. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and everyone seems to try to like fit the mold, break the mold, fit the mold, break the mold, you know. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's a constant struggle, you know, uh, yeah. finding that inner peace at the same time. So. We definitely know about the struggle here in Detroit. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, dude, it's awesome. Um, I saw that uh, our friend Alexis did your. Mark? Yes, uh, yeah, she uh, she did our album art. She also uh, does uh, our T-shirt designs as well. So okay. very talented tattooer. So yeah. if you know her, check her out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, she, yeah, she's a real good girl. She's a good friend of ours. She hangs out here all the time. Awesome. Awesome. Us, so. She actually just designed designed a new T-shirt for us. So we're gonna be uh, getting that out pretty soon. Hopefully in time for some shows in August. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. What's going on in August? Uh, well, we are on Dirt Fest this year. Uh, also playing a Loyalty Fest too. Uh, Fat Guy Fest, which is a first for us. Okay. And um, let's see, what else is there? There was one more fest, a Michigan on Mute Fest. Okay. So, yeah. I believe uh, Wolf Shark is on there. Right on. Yeah. They're so, good dudes. I heard of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like those guys. That's nice yeah. Guys. No, that'll be tight. Um, who was playing uh, Dirt Fest this year? Dirt Fest. Uh, Dirt Fest is actually uh, pretty interesting for me this year because. Uh, um, from seeing Dirt Fest progress from the early years, where it was a lot of like local acts, a lot of Michigan acts. I mean, I don't. I know uh, Jeff Tuttle, which is from the Detroit area, played in numerous acts. I mean, I've always looked up to him in his stage presence. He's a phenomenal yeah. performer. Yeah, we interviewed him about a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, um, I, I remember. I believe Hez will roll. Oh, really? They're gonna do a No, no, no. I, I believe they were on Dirt Fest a while ago. Yeah. I, I don't go man that. You know, I'm just you know trying I'm to think back. Sure but they, uh, Dirt Fest had a lot more local hardcore mm -hmm. punk acts, and now uh, there's a lot more, um, I don't want to say mainstream heavy rock on there, but I mean, like, for example, we have, like, uh, Power Man 5000 is going to be on there, which came out a couple years ago, but, you know, they still turn around, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I remember Power Man 5000. I think that's definitely going to be, like, sh like, train wreck like level where you just have to see it. It's like you not know, something you like love. Well, I mean, this is it's like when worlds it. collide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Come on. That's also, what it's like. Yeah. Exactly. Kill Switch and Engage is gonna be on there That's too. Exciting. So it's, it's gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's a cool opportunity to meet different kinds of people that are enjoying different genres, but all there for uh, you know music. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah it's gonna so, be awesome. Uh, so uh, you said you guys are writing a uh, full length that's coming up. Uh, yeah, we're working on a full length. Uh, actually, just recently we uh, put out a single with Savior Generation Records. Uh, uh, Tony at Savior Generation, he's great. He works with a lot of Michigan acts. Uh, he's working with Braided Veins, which has uh, uh, Jonathan from The Swellers. Um, if anyone remembers Kid Brother Collective, uh, the guitarist from that band is, is also in uh, uh, Braided Veins, and, and they're awesome. We don't play with them very often, but we did play with them at Bloodfest, so it's kind of cool being able to put out music with another Flint act through our label that's doing that, you know. So, But on the split that we just released, um, there's Hung Up, Lobby Boxer, and uh, let's see, The Revelry's on there as well. We're on there, so, yeah. but our, the new song we put out is called uh, Le Planetarium. Okay. So, yeah, so that's on there, so check it out. Yeah. Just, yeah. And we have uh, seven inches that we're kind of pushing a little bit there. We're going to limit it amount, so. Yeah. All right, check well, it get out. Well, get them while you can. Yeah, get them while you can. Not, you know, there's always the internet. <laughs> slide your download code if you ever want. I think I've heard of that internet. I don't know. It's it's kind of a new thing. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> cool, man. Um, well, sweet. Sounds like you're uh, busy as far as all that goes. Yeah, we're we're trying to write some new stuff right now. Um, 
Uh, our goal right now is just kind of finish up these fests that we have lined up in August, and then we want to take some time off in the fall to write, which is honestly a great time to tour. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I mean, we've been uh, pushing 1876 Presents Mother Tongue for a little bit now, and uh, we have a handful of new songs that we really want to get out there, but we want to do it just right. Uh, we recorded the Planetarium um, with Matt Dalton at 37 Studios, and uh, so we're planning on going back there, and we like how it works, we like how he sounds. He smells good, too. So. Hey, I've heard he smells good, actually. Yeah, that's kind of one thing he's known for. <laughs> Alright, cool man. So, uh, in closing, uh, where do people go to find you? Uh, you can find us at facebook.com slash 1876theband, twitter.com slash 1876theband, on Instagram, 1876theband, and that's just 1876theband. <laughs> I, I feel like I should be selling things that I'm going to auction right now. Definitely. Or uh, you can also hear our music at uh, 1876.bandcamp.com. So, we would appreciate it if you connect with us sometime. <laughs> awesome.